Hey guys, in today's video we've got a license gate in with a two-speed gearbox, portal axles, light system, ball bearings and a lot more. Stay tuned! <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a new car from FMS to look at and this time they made us a Chevrolet K10 and this thing really looks awesome. So this car is built on the FCX18 platform just like the FCX24, these chassis are just amazing. So inside here you will find the two speed gearbox, we've got portal axles, we've got oil shocks and a lot more. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, we've got the USB charger, we've got a 900mm 2S LiPo battery, we've got a tool and we've got some lysing plating and a tow hinge is sitting inside there. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and this is one of my most favorite small transmitters on the market. So it runs on 4 triple A's which you need to supply of your own. It's capable of one and driving, it's very sturdy and we've got 4 channels. So this is channel number 3 and channel number 3 is for the 2 speed gearbox. Channel number 4 is for controlling the lights. So right over there is your steering trim, your dual rate etc. We've got reverse switches right over there and we've got some small switches right over there. And this is for controlling the drag brake. So overall this transmitter is a thumbs up for me. So let's have a close look at the car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well appearance wise, I'm totally in love, just look at it man, all the small details which they have added and the paint job on this car is just superb in my opinion. So FMS you did a pretty good job by recreating the real thing and remember this is a licensed, a licensed Chevrolet and that's always a good thing. So let's have a closer look at all the details. So in the front of the car you'll find a chrome front bumper with some lysing plating and you will get some different ones in this little bag. And just look at the Chevrolet badge guys, this thing is just awesome so behind the lenses you will find some leds so we've got some headlights and we've got some indicators but we don't have got any indicators in the rear so in the rear you only have got just normal lights and that's also that's fine for me so the bonnet or the hood can be opened and underneath here you will find your two-in-one receiver ec combination an on off switch and we've got the battery tray sitting right over there so here you will find some wipers we've got some door handles we've got some mirror sitting right over there and just look at, the, at those wheels man these things really looks amazing so when we look at the rear of the car you'll find the tailgate with the Chevrolet ridding right over there and the tailgate, uh, tailgate can be opened and that's always nice so look at the rear bumper and that's also chromed and you can add a tow hinge or tow hook and that's also provided in this little bag so appearance wise this thing really looks amazing there's only one thing what I really don't like about this body and that are the big holes inside the rear bed sitting right over there. So FMS, why did you do that? Why didn't you mount the shocks onto the chassis rails right over there or inside the wheel arch for example? Why did you have to cut some big holes? You know, I really don't like that. Also, you'll find some holes sitting right over there for the LEDs but you know, you won't see those uh, very clearly if you just close the tailgate but these are very annoying in my opinion. But it is what it is. But let's have a close look underneath the car. Underneath the car you will find all the magic. So this is your two speed gearbox. We've got a tiny servo sitting right over there for selecting the two gears. So this is your 180 motor and the 180 motor is just plenty of powerful for the car of this size. And I just noticed that we have got an interior with some gauges inside there. So it's a good thing that we've got an interior but you really can't see it through the windows. So yeah that's a bit of a downside but we do have got an interior and that's always a good thing. In the rear of the car you will find a four link setup. We've got some metal linkages throughout the car except for this one in the front. So this eye link is made of plastic but you know that's just fine. So inside the portal axles you will find some metal gears. Inside the pump comes you will find some plastic gears and the diffs are just locked. So the shocks they feel very very nice. So the shock inside the Toyota that they recently have made they didn't feel very nice and they just hang up a little bit. But these are just sublime. So FMS thank you for listening to us because you have 
have changed the shocks and these feel sublime now. So in the front of the car you will find the exo mounted servo with the servo saver on there. So we've got some ball bearings throughout this car and this setup is just very very nice. So let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on. The car is powered on and let me first show you the lights. So channel number 4 is for controlling the lights. Press it once and you will have your headlights including the indicators. Press it again, they will go a little bit brighter including the indicators. And of course we've got some tail lights. Press it again, we've got the hazard mode. Press it again and you will only have got the indicators. And then it's everything is off again. So the steering servo has got plenty of power and plenty of speed. And these are just fine you know. So let me demonstrate the high speed. So this is at high speed. It is pretty fast. I really like that. So channel number 3 for the 2 speed gearbox. In the middle is position we've got the neutral all the way to the left. And then you've got your low speed. And just look at the modulation guys. This thing really drives amazingly. You know this thing is just superb. And I just noticed that FMS didn't put any foams inside the wheels. And that's a good thing. Because now the, the tires will deshape when you're driving over some obstacles. So FMS thank you for not putting foams inside there. So for now there's only one thing left to do. And that's take it outside for a spin. So guys we're on the test course and this is the first obstacle that we're going to do. So if a car is any good it should make it all the way up this big boulder. And I think that this car doesn't have any problems with this obstacle. But let's find out. So here we go slowly and steady. And here it goes as I told you without any problem. So let's go to the next one. Here we have another very steep incline. And I think that this car is capable enough to make this one without any problem. And yes, here we go. And do you see the tires? You know, these tires are just excellent. I'm so glad that FMS didn't put any foams in them. Well, of course, you can take them out yourself. But, you know, yeah, without those foams, the tires really de-shape. And that's helping this car with this obstacle. Yeah. So let's find even a more difficult incline. Here's another very steep incline. And only the most capable cars are able to get up here. Just look at it. So the bumper is scraping over the grass. But... Let's see if we can get up here, but maybe the, the pattern on the tires isn't yeah, good. Well, ooh, almost there. Yes, well this thing is so capable. Now let's see how this car performs when driving on the slope. So I'm not going to take the most difficult one because you know this car is uh, yeah, in a hard body and very high on its wheels. So yeah, finding, yeah, driving on yeah very steep slopes, that's not going to work with this car, but... Yeah, let's try something anyway. So here it goes a little bit. Let's find a little bit more difficult one than this one. But yeah, I really don't want to scrape this body, you know. Because on the black, this thing really scratches. And here we go. One wheel in the air. Do you see that? No. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. It crashed it. I crashed it. Oh, poor body. Oh, let's do some more climbing. Now let's see how this car performs when doing some rock crawling. So yeah, the, the suspension is pretty good. You know, we've got portal axles, we've got a two-speed gearbox and a very slow modulation as you can see. But the long wheelbase isn't really made for rock crawling. But let's see if we can get over here. Normally over, this is not the big problem. Getting up there again is, but let's yeah do it anyway. So here we go. You see, over this obstacle isn't any problem, but yeah, let's go up again. Now let's see if this car is able to get up here again. But I don't think it's going to do it, you know, these tires are just not made for rock crawling, you know. The pattern on there is just too slippery. I think that this is more like a trail truck instead of a rock climber, but you know, this car is still pretty capable and FMS did a really good job with changing these oil shocks. You know, the previous one that came in the Toyota LC70, they were just not good, you know. But these are working flawlessly, as you can see. And yeah, that the tires don't have got any foams in them is really helping it. Do you see the tires are de-shaping? Do you see this? Yeah, that's really helping this car. But let's see if I can find a line, but... These tires are just not grippy enough to get up here. Maybe in the high gear. Let's try that again. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Here in high gear. And yeah, now, now I did it. Now I did it. So I will just give you some driving footage now.
So guys, that was the driving with the FCX18, the Chevrolet K10. And what do I think of this car? Well, appearance-wise, this thing is just amazing. Just look at it, man. I really like this car, you know. You've got three different color types. I will put the link down below so you can check those colors out for yourself. I chose the black one and I think I made a really a wrong choice because you will see everything on this. Every fingerprint, you know, every small scratch. And yeah, that's a bit annoying in my opinion, but it is what it is. So yeah, appearance-wise, this thing is very nice. There's only one big problem in my opinion and that are the big holes inside the rear bed and these are the shock towers sticking through there and i think that's a big downside so fms for the next time you know just mount the shocks for example inside the wheel archers or onto the chassis for example because yeah this is just a bit annoying in my opinion but overall appearance wise a thumbs up Performance wise, also a thumbs up. This thing is just amazing, you know. The FCX18, just like the FCX24 series, you know. The two speed gearbox is just amazing. The Porto extras are just sublime. The steering servo is just amazing, in my opinion. This chassis is just superb. So, overall, performance wise, it is a very, very good car. It's not really a rock crawler, you know. This is more like a trail truck. And being a trail truck, it's very, very capable. There's only one thing it rolls over very quickly, and that is because, yeah. We've got a hard body and it sits a little bit high on the wheels and therefore it just rolls over very quickly. So if you buy this one, you know, just buy some uh, extra weights for inside the wheels. Then it will be more stable on the ground and then it will be even better than the one that I have got. But overall, I really like this car. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.